At the beginning of every new year, how many times have you heard this phrase? Oh, new year, new me, or this year will be different. And then they proceed to live their life the exact same as the year before. They set these really ambitious resolutions, and then obviously they don't follow them. They're going to go to the gym, they're going to eat healthy, they're going to study harder than last year, and then it just doesn't work out. I think the big problem that everyone has when they make these huge plans for the following year is that they're thinking too far ahead. They're thinking of the end goal. And the moment they realize how much work it'll take to get to the end goal, they'll just give up and say that they'll try again next year. And it always ends the same way. The next year, again, nothing happens. And I think it's time in 2023 that we actually accomplish something great and really become more productive and outwork these lazy people that don't want to put in the work. Now I'm sure all of you have probably heard, at least in some videos on YouTube, about uh, this thing called monk mode, where they set aside a couple weeks or maybe a month or more, and uh, they dedicate all their time to their work, their studies, and uh, really putting a laser focus on what they're trying to progress to and what they're trying to accomplish. They completely cut out any instant gratification activities. They cut out alcohol and parties, social media, phone usage, video games, obviously. And they completely devote themselves to their work. And for a lot of people starting off, it's a very extreme way of becoming productive. And today I kind of want to go through some ways that you can really increase your productivity. And the first of which is to limit distractions. The best way you can start doing that is to uh, modify your environment to be a lot more minimalistic and uh, almost make it boring, honestly. That way the only thing of interest that's in front of you is your work and your studies. So clear your desk, make your damn bed, as Jordan Peterson tells you, and uh, put your phone in another room entirely. Don't just put it on silent in front of you. Um, and on your computer, close all websites and applications that might be distracting in any way. And only leave tabs open that contain what you're trying to work on. If there are other factors in your environment that you really can't change, that are super distracting, maybe loud family members or noises from outside, just take your work, maybe you have a laptop or on your phone, and uh, move to a new environment. Places like cafes, libraries, uh, college campuses, somewhere quiet that you are able to work efficiently. Next, you need to plan accordingly. Plan out your day with the various tasks you want to accomplish, while also leaving time for rest in certain points. This will keep you on track throughout the day since you will want to adhere to a schedule. And plus, checking off all those tasks as you go through them is incredibly rewarding. Planning out your whole day will also keep you busy uh, and will leave no time for distractions like video games, social media scrolling, or binge eating. And when a certain task requires your attention, make sure all of that attention is put onto that task and that task alone and tackle one objective uh, one at a time. Trying to multitask uh, a bunch of different tasks will lead to much lower productivity. Once you begin to notice that uh, slowing of productivity, it will severely discourage you and halt productivity altogether in a lot of cases. So when you sit down to work, make sure you are laser focused on that work. Now, next is really important because it really pairs with being consistent and that is to motivate yourself through your progress. Consistency in your work will become a lot easier once you start to see progress in certain areas. This is the same concept for when you just start going to the gym and you start seeing small improvements in your physique and that will really motivate you to keep going back to the gym. The same goes for your work and your studies and the various objectives you want to complete. Once you see progress in those fields, it will really motivate you to work harder and more frequently. Whenever you're feeling the lack of energy to complete something, where you feel like your progress is 
a lot slower. Try to think back on how you used to be, you know, and appreciate that progress you've made up until now. Also, you can think about potential for more progress in the future. Uh, but it's important not to dwell, but envision a better yet realistic version of yourself. Now, speaking of not dwelling on the past or the future, I just want to offer a bit of a warning when you're trying to organize your life in a way like this, and that's to know when to take a break. And when you take that break, make sure you leave your work where you left it. Do not take it with you. It can be very easy to get caught up in your daily routine and uh, neglect the world around you. Relationships with others might start to have problems. You'll forget about important due dates and uh, your stress level will start to increase until it's out of control. Taking breaks is super important, but it's what you do during that break that's the most crucial. Things like meditating, spending time with loved ones, or moderate exercise are a much better alternative to instant gratification activities when it comes to trying to clear your head of uh, the minutia of your daily routine. It's important to remember that when you finish your productive tasks, remove them from your mind entirely and live in the present rather than in the past or the future. If you don't, your whole life could be consumed by all this need for constant progression and you will perpetually be stuck in the past and the future. And this is definitely something you want to avoid. But if you can manage to strike a balance between your work and your outside life, I think 2023 will be an amazing year for all you guys. And that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let's put in that work, boys. And I will see you next year.